Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we're going to be playing some 2600 games. Four 2600 games. And they are Frazzled, all from 2023. They're all relatively newish. Uh, Paul's Happy Bird. Uh, Cheat from mm -hmm. Homestar Runner. The oh! Little, the little yellow guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and an updated version of Covey Covey. Um, and we have some stories. We have some stories to tell. Uh, if you can see my foot in the cat cam. Yeah. It is very injured. It is very injured. <laughs> that happened on that's, uh, Sunday. That's why there are no cats yes. in the room. But yeah. we'll get into that in a little yeah. bit. But first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers yes. scrolling down there. <laughs> Alda for Arms, Gar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Maxis, Bia Procock, Cal Charles, Donnie Mount, Charles Willen, Chitlilla, Colonel Lamb, Dan, if you see Daryl 1970, Dr. Mook has Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny W. C. Kifudu, Kenzo, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Vader Croc, 2600, Gvelthfer, Lambda Express, Lauren GTZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spicing, Mail Atari, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Tell, Myth, Miss Command, Mika Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Sarmu, Mr. Fix, Nostalgic, Packer VG, Quahog, uh, 2600, Raymond C., RC70, Renner, Ghost for Penless VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, 312, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Urban Monkey, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, rage kicked. Yes. Uh, well, it's more true than you think, that statement. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. you just wait. Uh -huh. oh. You can get treasure chest to open it. Well, that does work in video games. So. Yeah. Uh, barefooted. Well, it's hot here. That's it is. one it reason. It is very hot in I'm barefooted. British Columbia. Right I would have been barefooted anyway. Yeah. yeah um, uh, if you want to support the show, you can for free. If you have Amazon Prime, just mm -hmm. hit subscribe mm -hmm. and uh, link them up, and it's free and all that. Uh, have some mail, kind of mail. It's something that I bought and picked up myself. This is cool. Very cool. It is uh, Tandy's Zack Man, a tabletop game in the box. A very nice looking box, yep. too. The box is fairly decent condition. Yes. Um, so let's open it up and take a look at it. I do like tabletop games. And uh, when I saw this listed, uh, I looked up a video of it. And I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. Um, it does have the instructions, has the um, inserts as well. Isn't it? And the foam looks very nice. I don't is, know why, but the foam is like intact and looks almost absolutely perfect. Absolutely so. brand new looking. Everything looks brand new except for the box. Impressive. Which has, you know, been around it, for 30 look 40 years that bad so there you go years. electronique how electronique it is yes. it is canadian because there's french and english instructions yeah. it is immaculate it condition it does look very good so let's take a close up look at it oh you can see my feet there close you can up. see your poor little footy yeah uh, there is the zack man that's the batteries cover. And it does have the batteries cover. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Very nice. I like the silver finish on it, too. That's uh, a bit overblown. I can't really read that. No. Yeah, the silver. Very 80s, 70s. But it's not warm because sometimes oh. those silver finishes end up looking really warm. Not warm. Mint, yes. Uh, it is close. very close. close to mint. The actual console. Yeah. I could probably get it really close if I just like Got a few cleaned it up a or, little bit yeah. yep um so I'm really happy about that um on and it works perfectly like the batteries are actually oh thank you for following a breadboard studios welcome mm -hmm. very geeky name uh and then the handheld museum describes it as this game is a dig dug clone which is uh, awesome which you love. because there was never a dig dug official tabletop game. Mm -hmm. So you can dig out rocks, rocks fall. You can kind of shoot slash pump the enemies. Mm. Um, the, game, the game plane is identical to Atari's dig dug arcade game with the exception of two things. You can't attack the bad guy up and down, only left and right. The overall object is to grab a prize at the bottom of the screen and then get it back to your ship that dropped you off at the top of the screen. Mm -hmm. If you shoot all the bad guys, a new one will just appear somewhere. Original price, $34.95. Uh, from 1984. So it's almost 40 years old. Pretty good for 40. 
Most people don't look that good at four games. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, um, some sad news. Mm. Um, what, an original uh, Atari programmer uh, recently passed away, unfortunately. Um, Bob Smith. It was announced on Sunday. I'm mm. not sure if that's the day he died, but um, he was the founder of... Uh, he was a founder of Imagic mm. uh, and developer of Atari 2600 games such as Video Pinball, Star Voyager, Dragonfire, Riddle of the Sphinx, Moonsweeper, mm. and he ported Star Wars Arcade to the wow. 2600, which is an amazing game. Yeah. Um, and he went on to uh, make many more games after the 2600 as well. Um, I'm sure everyone here has played at least one of those one of games, those. if not yep. all of those <laughs> games. I'm sure everyone here has played probably all of them. Yeah. Um, and uh, probably you've watched him live at PRGE giving his talks. You can mm -hmm. see right there he's uh, at one of his talks um, in person or online. I know I, I saw him at PRG a number of times over the years. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, excellent, excellent port, the Star Wars uh, arcade port. Uh, Dragonfire's fun. It's been ported to a number of systems. We played it on the Jaguar. Mm -hmm. um, and Riddle of the Sphinx. I mean, we played all these mm -hmm. on our marathon. Um, so it's unfortunate um, to yes. lose him. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be happening more and more frequently with the Don't people back that. in the day. <laughs> Don't say that. You know, you take games and systems that are 40, 45 years and mm. you add their age when they were making it and it's like... Ooh, yeah. it's tough, but yeah. yeah. Um, but very thankful that he <laughs> was around and made those games and for people to enjoy. Yes, Magic games are astoundingly colorful yes. and fun to play. Yeah. Um, some news from the Atari Age forums. Muddy Funster posted this on Saturday. Um, so the Muddy Vision catalog is going digital. A little update to say that I'll be making the final Coppers ROM available for purchase in the coming week or two, along with some of my older games, Danger Zone, Daredevil, Tire Tracks. There'll be uh, regular PAL and NTSC versions, Dragonfly, 7800 GD, Mr. Emulation, etc., and also a version for Concerto owners. Anyone who's previously purchased a physical copy will get a discount when providing proof of purchase against a digital ROM. Just trying to figure out final details. We'll update shortly. So now we have champ games catalog and now muddy visions catalog going digital so nice. all those people um clamoring for the digital versions to play in their emulators etc slowly emerging it's uh very awesome mm -hmm. um another update on the 7800 gd speaking of that uh saint posted this in the atari age forums Anyone who wants to spend some time finding cheats for games with something like A7800, just let me know what needs modifying and I can add it to the cheats. So you've heard of Game Genie? Yes. It was uh, yep. used on various systems. Oh, yeah. We're going to have it for the 7800. Really? <laughs> so you'll be able to have infinite lives. <laughs> Dial infinite into health. certain levels. Yeah, jump to a nice. certain level. Um, wow. The community will have to find out where these variables are stored within the game okay. or memory locations, etc. So he gives an example right here um, for, uh, let's see, Dark Chambers, uh, for Infinite Health, Infinite Keys, all the upgrades, Infinite Bombs, um, uh, Crossbow NTSC Cheat Option. Um, and so he gives some parameters to be able to send the information to him so he can put it in the 7800 GD. Uh, the 7800 GD is sounding better and better every post. He adds mm. something yeah. amazing yeah. to it that probably most people haven't even thought that could be possible or that it would be possible. Um, let's see. And he also posted some... Um, production samples of the Mega 7800, which is the adapter for Mega Drive slash Genesis controller to be able to use on the 7800 nice. uh, with multiple settings. Um, uh, Sega Light Gun, uh, two button controller. I'm guessing that's a Sega Master System controller. Then a three button uh, Mega Drive, six button Mega Drive. This will be the mother of all the multi cards. I, I think it might be. I think it, let's see if there's anything else posted. No, I thought there's something. 
Oh, here we go. Here's the video of the cheat the system. The cheat system on the 7800 GD. So we've got dark chambers here. If we start the game normally, there's no extra bombs or keys or anything like that. Set up. So quit the game. Go into the cheat. Get that to focus. Go into the cheat menu. And turn everything on. The display on this doesn't update uh, in real time. So until you restart the level or whatever, then you don't see what you've got. So there we go. We've just started the game again. All the cheats turned on and you've got keys and bombs and everything else. The whole cheat system is completely open so people can add whatever they like. So it's going to be down to the community, but you should get cheats for everything on the 7800. Cheats are for cheaters. Cheats are for cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're having trouble or you want to, um, a lot of long plays use cheats so that you can show every level in the game. Mm -hmm. So there are uses other than just cheating. But some people <laughs> like to have a little help if the game is too hard. Some games have easy and hard settings. Some games don't have any yeah. settings. So, um, And speaking of that, I have been uh, working my way through Cuphead. Oh, yeah. On hard mode, which they label normal mode. It's hard. <laughs> so there's easy and normal mode. I've got about 40, 45% of the main game done yeah, on already. hard mode. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yeah. Um, I think about every two times I play, I'm able to beat a level. Mm. Like one level. Yeah. It, it, it gets harder and harder. Yeah, and harder. I hear the cursing. <laughs> oh my God. I'm smacking the couch. I'm just yelling. Yeah. Oh my God. Freaking it's out so the cats. Hard. Freaking yeah. out the cats. Um, so that's all the news. Now we're going to get to cat news and toe oh. news. Or foot news. Yeah. Um, related. Related news. They are news. related. Oh. So you can see on the cat cam here, um, I'm all bandaged up. Um, you can see some... Footgate. Footgate, yeah. Uh, some injuries that aren't bandaged because they're not that bad. So... Um, you want to tell this story? It happened Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we were at my sister's um at uh mother's, mother's day. day that's right yeah um got back in the evening got back in the evening relaxing upstairs in the couch pretty much just about the time we go to bed yeah it was around midnight ish yeah, 11 30 something yeah like that. something like that and we hear an unholy wailing of cats downstairs yeah like like someone is being murdered a like like murder. terrifying noise like we immediately ran downstairs like it like a cat is attacking another cat yeah like ripping them to shreds yeah we were scared like it wasn't hissing it was cat yelling yeah um so i'm like oh my god what's going on and i was like yelling them break it up i was i was running downstairs yeah and i get to the bathroom where the noise is coming from yeah and I see both the cats are in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, Sprite is in the shower. The shower door is closed. It's a swinging glass shower door. Do glass swinging glass door. So the door is closed. Sprite's in the shower. Uh, his favorite place because his water dish is in there. He loves and he splashing loves playing around. with water. And Atari is screaming. And panicking. And panicking and trying to run away. Just flipping the hell out. And his back leg is caught in the closed shower door. Yeah. Like underneath, there's like a it's... glass glass panel and a plastic strip. Yeah. And then there's tile and his foot is caught under the glass panel in the plastic strip. Yeah, about half his foot, like at the yeah. at the um, joint. Yeah. Where his um Yeah, his, so his not knee. not not in the Cat knee. not in the um <laughs> hinge of the door, but just underneath. Underneath. It. So he's and he's trying to pull. He's trying to pull his leg because out. Because that's what animals do. They just yeah. go away from the problem. Clearly thinks a predator is attacking him because he's screaming. Yeah, so I go to open the door to free him. Yeah. As quickly as I can, because he's freaking out. Yeah. And you step the I step forward with my left foot. And the instant I get within range, he chop. Well, what I feel is he chomps down on my big toe, and is not letting go. Like chomping hard. Yeah, like full <laughs> jaw pressure on your toe. Uh, from that point, I kind of just went Almost into passed out. <laughs> pain, pain mode. Tanya had to tell me what happened next, so you tell what happened next. <laughs> so basically, or what I'm, you heard. I'm a few feet behind you. You go running into the room. 
You run in, you scream, <laughs> fall to the floor. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I see a gray cat flailing around, attached to your toe, one paw in the shower. So I jump on the on the, the toilet and I open oh, the door. Okay. And I avoid him because because you're he's got you. Yeah. I jump, I open the door. The moment I open the door, he lets Oof. go of your toe and runs. The black cat who's caught in the shower runs out the door. Yeah. You're lying on the floor. Blood everywhere. <laughs> just bleeding. And and I'm like, oh my goodness. I like you <laughs> you were just like almost passed out because it, it took you by surprise too, right? Like you Oh, yeah. And, I was and, like, and, um, Oh, I'm gonna open the door and the cattle run and not not expecting Atari to attack me, but yeah. When animals, in hindsight <laughs> when animals are in pain, they they just freak out and attack everything, everything. in their sight because they yeah. don't know what's happening. No. They can't they can't really reason that quickly when they're in pain. They don't they don't yeah. understand, oh, my foot is caught in the door. If I just back up, it'll open the door and yeah. I can free myself. They're no. just like, attack everything. Yeah. Like he something's thinks, hurting me. He thinks he's being caught by a predator. Like I, that that's it's it's survivor brain at that oh, point. Oh, it's much worse than the head injury. Oh, yeah. The head injury was much more bloody. Yeah. But... Well, this was this rivaled it actually. Yeah. Um but that um, healed like it just yeah. Uh, healed up. This, okay. <laughs> I was on the ground for an hour. At least. In pain. And I was I was trying to get you to kind of relax and calm down because you were in a lot of pain. And and then I knew I had to clean it. I mean my, my yeah. basic first aid, I'm like you, you have you have an animal bite, you have to you have to clean it. Clean but it you, and stop the bleeding. You you couldn't really deal with that at the in that moment. No. Um, so we tried to clean it. In the end, I ended up bandaging it up. We yeah. talked about going to emergency, and we, we did just drip some water on it. I, but I it tried was, as best as I could, but it was successful. incredibly sensitive. Oh my god, my toe was. Well, we'll describe the toe in a yeah. bit. <laughs> uh, anyway. So I was saying to Tanya, please look up cat bites. Yeah. What do we need to do? Uh, yeah. And and, uh, and we couldn't see. Yes. No rabies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who knows? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> um, so we couldn't really see the extent of the injuries because it was just blood everywhere. Yeah, and you wouldn't let me really wash it at that point because you were in so much pain. So much pain. Um, and in the end, I washed it as best. We wrapped it up, and we decided not to go to the doctor right away because we didn't... were both exhausted too. Yeah, it was one ter one o'clock, one thirty by then. Um, it was like two thirty actually. Oh okay. Yeah, I was out of it. Yeah, um, his time. The blood, the the bleeding had stopped. Yes. I didn't feel that there was chunks or... Like his tooth was caught in there or something. Or like pieces out or a big yeah. opening because the bleeding had stopped. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, we'll look at it in the morning. It'll be less painful. I was able to get to sleep. I gave you an Advil too. Yeah, that helped a yeah. lot. Um, so I kept my foot outside of the covers. Um, <laughs> And in the morning, Tanya booked a doctor's appointment because... With you, our personal doctor. Yeah, and, yeah. Because you have to go to the doctors to get antibiotics. Yeah. To fend off anything. I ran out of the cold tap. No. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> but I mean, um, I was looking it up and they basically said any kind of animal bite, dogs, cats, Doesn't whatever. Matter. Like obviously Felt, wild, wild animals are far worse. <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, but even domestic animals, their mouths aren't very clean, so... They mm -hmm. suggest you go and get antibiotics. So, yeah, you've got antibiotics for that. Yeah, I have to take antibiotics for five days. I have to wash my foot in salt water. Yeah, like saline, basically. Saline or boiled, sterilized salt water three times a day. Yeah. Um, and then rebandage it. And yeah. We bought special. Well, not special. Well, but we just, just sport slippers because sports sandals that have an open toe yeah so that my toe my toe is the worst okay there's puncture well, okay 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 now so... we'll describe the injury <laughs> so next day you know it was we could kind of see it a bit bleeding more. it stopped yeah we could clean it up a little bit yeah. around but the edges we noticed the nail didn't look so good and you ended up going to the doctor yes in the end and the doctor was very surprised that a domestic cat could do so much damage. <laughs> yes, good job, Atari. Atari basically oh, cracked blink. your toe in half, like your toenail in half. Yeah, if he had, 
it luckily it was one third to the side. Yeah. So it was kind of a third over and then it curved. Sorry for all the details. halfway. To, you're not, we do have very graphic pictures. We're but, not putting but that. We're not going to show them because <laughs> this bad. video might be pulled. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> it's so bloody. Yeah. Uh, um, so it's cracked and it's curves to the side. So it's not as bad as it could be. But if his tooth went in right in the middle of the nail. Oh God, he would have cracked the nail yeah it would have cracked the nail it would have been terrible yeah so there's a puncture mark on the top at least a little bit yeah there's a puncture mark on the under underside. The underside and another one on the top well there's the another scratch on the top and, and there's a huge gash gash down there and a huge gash in the front down there there's a tiny one on my second to smallest toe yeah. there's little scratches there but he, oh my god, he did a number. He lost his mind. But yeah, but just just like they can go crazy all of a sudden, they're fine right after. Yeah. It in terms of like us. Yeah. But right now they're kind of getting used to each other because they both think they attacked each other. Yeah. Like Atari thinks possibly Sprite was chewing on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Were you chewing on his leg? No, you weren't. Yeah. And a and Sprite thinks Atari was freaking out at him. Yeah. And trapping him. They're very him sensitive around each other. Yeah, top predator meltdown. <laughs> it was, exactly. It was a meltdown. So it there's was. like three people panic in the in the bathroom when Tanya came in. And I'm just going, what's going what on? Is <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? She she had to oh assess God. the situation two in like two cats. seconds. And a, and and a, um, a, a husband with a bleeding toe, and yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, we did get it sorted. You're all bandaged up now. It still is. The cats are a little tense around each other. Like actually, Atari came in here, yeah, and was before the show, and was kind of blocking Sprite's path from coming like in, doing a sideways stance. Yeah, they, so they're, they're a, a little, little sensitive with so, each other. So. Treat time might not go as planned. <laughs> might not go as planned. People before the show were planning. Oh, let's give catnip, and oh. and Sprite would eat the catnip and slow him down oh. for the game. Yeah. But let's let's just not do anything today. Yeah. Because they're not in a good spot and they're no. they're kind of okay right now. They're a little bit apart, so yeah. nobody do treat time. If right someone now. does accidentally, we will just give them treats. Yeah, we we'll won't do. We don't won't do, won't do the contest. competition. So yeah. just so you know. Um, he did. He did. They're yeah. both. They're both fine. Yeah. They're both happy, and they both laid beside me. And I was, uh, yeah. obviously, I was very frightened of Atari. Yeah. At the, at, right after, because I'm like, shut the door. Yeah. Don't let him in. I don't know what his mindset is right now. Yeah. But the next day, he was totally fine. Yeah. And he's he, he's <laughs> he's almost apologetic. Like he just seems yeah. really really kind of sad. And yeah. He did injure his leg a little, but he didn't bleed or anything. Yeah. I'm gonna become Catman. Yeah. I'm imbued with the powers <laughs> of a cat. cat. Yeah, you'll be Stre biting, biting everyone's toes. Strength of one cat. <laughs> <laughs> but but I was surprised the doctor said, "Oh my god, I didn't know a domestic cat could do that." Like she took he... pictures. Yeah. <laughs> to show her colleagues. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the first time a doctor has taken pictures of <laughs> some weird thing That's that I have <laughs> that I've always recovered from. But yeah. they're like, "Oh, I've never seen this." Or yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Or or I've self-diagnosed my problem, and they bring around the other doctors, like the locums, to see <laughs> to see this diagnosis is very silly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fun. anyway, it's they're fun. all calming down now. They're a little a little on edge, but they're pretty good. You can see I've got a black kitten here. He's 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 pretty fine. Friendly. They're both fine. It's yeah. just. Yeah, exactly. He'll be I New England not. Journal of Medicine. I hope not. Yeah. There's nothing undiscovered that's happening. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. very you are, weird. You're a trooper for being here rather than resting. Yeah. You're a, you're you're feeling a little better oh, today. I, it still I play hurts, video though. games upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna play them down here. I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing Cuphead. Yeah. So why not play it online? Yeah. There you go. Have a little fun. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do the first game. <laughs> So that was all our our drama this week. It was dramatic. Yes. Um, the first game is Frazzled. Mm -hmm. um, so let's switch over to that. Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. no, you okay? That's the wrong button. You guys okay? Let's hmm? go back to that. There we go. So I had to replace the batteries in this, so 
kind of threw me off. <laughs> this shows the importance of making games couch compliant. Correct. Yes, that's right. Correct. This is this is the benefit of couch compliant games. Yes. So this is Frazzled by Dave M, who also did Mr. Yo Yo, nice. who's also working on Kick Ice, which is on ice right now, and he came out with this game. Yeah. Um. So, let me get you the joystick. Is this the right one? Ooh, I don't think it is. Is this the right one? This is the right one. My Thank cat you. panic jumped off my face a few months. Oh, ago. God. Ah, oh, nose that's and bad. ear bleeding everywhere. Yeah, those, oh. you gotta avoid those claws. Because they dig in to get some traction, right? Um, so he says, here's my newest work in progress homebrew, Frazzled. As you may or may not know, a while back I suspended my work on Kick Ice. Uh, I began almost immediately developing Frazzled, a game based on something I did a long time ago in VBA. Uh, before posting anything, I wanted to make sure I had something playable, something I never had with Kick Ice. Well, I finally have something playable, so it's time I start a development thread and share the results. Frazzled is a bit like censored Qbert. It's not like Qbert at all, actually. <laughs> uh, meets old Lights Out puzzle game. It's it's similar in Qbert where you jump, but it's okay. not it's not diagonals mm -hmm. at all, so Good. you won't be freaking out. <laughs> you control Snugford, the unicorn, aka Snuggy, hopping around the grid in the lower part of the screen. The grid up top shows a pattern that you must match on the grid below. So it's a matching game, mm. but also a um, panel switching game. You can load it up. Um, each time you press a button, the square on you're on changes, but so do all the squares attached to the square you're sitting on. Very old school um, mm. screen with the flashing. Um, the object is to come up with a match, or as close as possible, before time expires. Uh, there will be enemies to mess you up, power-ups to help you, and bonus objects to add to your score. There will be three game modes, the regular game, the selectable difficulty, and a practice mode, and a time rush mode. The attached uh, ROM. So I think you can just press it in the... S no, you can't just press it in the center. So you can hop around the whole thing. Oh, I okay. see his unicorn horn. It's very, very cute. cute. Um, so you've probably played games like this before, <coughs> where if you press on the middle, all the top oh. left and right change. And if you press it again, it'll go yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. So he actually gives hints, complete hints on how it works. And I didn't know these before, and it actually makes it a lot easier. Um, no enemies, no power-ups, no bonuses, no, no timer on this one. Just you and the puzzle. Solve the puzzle and a new randomly generated puzzle will appear a few seconds later. That's it for now. I'll be adding a time rush mode next. Um, and then he goes on to talk about kick ice. Um, happy to say the frazzled kernel is completed and tested. Uh, special thanks to Dennis Debro who helped me out with the problem I had along the way. With the kernel all done, now I have to do is take care of the game mechanics. A few things to start you out. Keep in mind the pseudo 3D perspective. <laughs> top row on the upper grid is the closest to you and that must match the row closest to you on the bottom grid so it's it it's symmetrical horizontal and vertical on this one mm. um, but on later ones it won't be so the one closest to you on the top is the one closest to you on the bottom so what am i trying to do i'm trying, trying to, match to replicate the, grid. the one up oh, top. see i'm just clicking around <laughs> that's okay i'm reading stuff okay yeah um to solve this first puzzle, you must switch the center box and the four corner boxes in any order. Once you switch those five boxes, you'll have a match, and a new randomly generated puzzle will appear. If you can't solve a puzzle for now, just hit reset. Uh, once the full game is complete, there will be multiple power-ups at your disposal, making the grids, matching the grids easier. Rather than give a player a set number of lives, the plan is to work on a demerit system. Similar to that in Pressure Cooker. If you don't solve the puzzle before the time expires, you pick up a few demerits, but the game will continue. Okay. So here Terrible is the game. tips. <laughs> uh, I have played these before, but I have no conscious... Unikangaroo, yeah. Yeah, very cute. Okay, so I'm going to tell, uh, lay it out for you. Yeah. So the top left is one, then two, three, okay, four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Okay. Okay, so say we only want to switch box five. So don't... Yeah. Okay, stop doing things. So I want to show you how to do something. Yeah. So look at what you have right now. Yeah. And say we want to switch box five, which is the center yeah. one. Um, that can be b done by switching boxes two, four, six, eight, then five. So that one, yep. Yeah. That one. And then to the right. 
and then the bottom, and then five. Mm. So that accomplishes mm -hmm. switching that one. Um, so another example, say you want to change only box eight, which is the bottom middle. Um, you To do that, switch box one, two, three, and five. Yeah, you just have to kind of memorize it all. Yeah. So that changes all of the yeah, middle but the pieces. One. Yeah. And you know how to change the middle piece now. Well, no, because no. I'm not going to memorize that. Yep. But yeah. Okay. And then lastly, uh, let's see. Uh, if all the boxes are wrong, <coughs> you switch the four corners. The four corners, yeah. And five. Okay. Okay, so um, you want to, oh, perfect. Okay, so let's do it from here. And th well, it's just the middle, right? Uh, no, you have to get, no, because it turns the middle on. And okay, then go, go. two, four, six, eight, and five. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I think he missed I screwed something, something up. Oh no. Oh, I did one. Ugh. Oh, back work backwards. Okay. So this. Yep. Two. <laughs> two. And then four. Yeah. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. And then five. I did that completely wrong da, da, da. last time. That took forever. It is like a flat Rubik's cube. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's similar to a Rubik's cube. Yeah. Um, so this is actually a port. I, I traced it back because I thought, oh, this is definitely an electronic game and not a board game. Because mm. to be a board game, it's a little weird to be a board game. Mm. So the earliest version that I can find is on Merlin. You know, that red handheld mm. telephone looking thing. Um, and it had this game on it because it had nine squares on it. Um, let me look up what that was called. Okay. I just want to get the name right. It is a port of um, Magic Square. It was named on the Merlin. And that links to Light Links to Lights Out. And it says Lights Out was the released by Tiger Electronics in 1995. But the Merlin was released in 1978, which is probably as early as you're going to get for an electronic device. Because before that, there's very few game consoles beside Pong. Um, there, was, there was the Atari, but it was only in 78. Um, yeah, I never had a Merlin, but at my, do my dentist's office, they had a Merlin. So every time I went to the dentist, I was able to play Merlin a little bit. And um, I swear my friend had one too. They had a bunch of built-in games. I had Tic-Tac-Toe, Music Machine, Echo, a, a game similar to Simon, Blackjack 13, which I'd, I never had a manual for it. So I always had to figure it out on my own what these games were on the Merlin. Mm. So I never knew that it was Blackjack on there. Um, and of course, this game was on it. And then Mindbender, a game similar to Mastermind. What well, had more than nine, had uh, 11. So it had the grid of three by three and then one in the middle top, one in the middle bottom. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just clicking around. Merlin was a great machine. Oh, are you? Well, not quite. He didn't give instructions on how to do the corners easily, because once you know that... You can do everything. Then you can do absolutely everything. It'll sometimes take you longer, though. Uh, let's see if he did. Maybe I missed it. Middle boxes... 
She's doing nothing. Yeah. And it is very click ch and challenging. Click and click and click and click. <laughs> yeah. You need to kind of memorize the. The way you switch it easily up. I had one of those took about a week before I could solve it in five moves by muscle memory. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, do that one. Then do like the middle. And then. Still. Do the middle left. I don't know. And then the top middle. Oh, no. Because that'll get your whole top row. Yep. And it'll get the middle. Then you're just missing one or two. <laughs> Let's solve this one and then we'll move on. Oh, oh no, you got it now. Okay, don't do anything. Okay. Do I, not do anything because you've only you've got corners and you know how to solve corners. No. Okay. Um, what am I doing? So if you want to solve that one, you do one, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. One, yep, yeah, two, three, five. There you go. Now we have that one to do, so we do the opposite. So the bot, the the left hand side, then five. Yep. Yeah. Then up. Then up. Then five. Yeah, but I still have the middle. Uh, oh, then, then, then you can turn on the middle by doing two, two four, six, eight, then five. Da, 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 there you go. Woo. We can move on. Yes. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot more to this game, he says. Yeah. And, and some people have already said that, oh, the first puzzle mm. is always the same when you turn it on. But the s second puzzle is randomized. So gotcha. people are saying, can you make the first puzzle randomized? randomized so the whole which makes a lot of sense. So you don't have to constantly yeah. solve the same or, puzzle or to begin with. It'd be nice if there were numbers to pick. So you could pick the puzzle if you were struggling to solve Ooh, one. Oh, yeah. But yeah. That, that could I don't be. know how easy or hard that is to incorporate, but... It's theoretical, theoretically then, very easy. Because then you have numbered puzzles. So you can start at one, and if you're struggling with three, you can If you go treat back. this as a nine digit binary sequence yeah. and then do an LFSR so that there's a sequence of unrepeated patterns of yeah. those nine bits. Yeah. You've got every single puzzle. And then you can how many how many is nine bits? What is that? What's eight? Eight bits is two fifty six. Mm. Um so five twelve puzzles. Um and then you have one through or zero through five eleven, <laughs> and then you've got it all. There you go. There's something for him to work on. <laughs> okay, so next game is Paul's Happy Bird, and we're gonna play this on the plus cart because there are high scores. Oh, internet I'm not high scores. Get them. <laughs> uh, Happy maybe. Bird, which is Flappy Bird. Yeah, Flappy Bird. Yeah, not the greatest, um, but so uh, it's let's a fun game. take a look at the scores first. For Happy Bird. Um, come on. Switch over. There we go. Did, didn't someone pr prove you could solve every Rubik's Cube combo in 20-something oh, moves? I'm sure I seem to did. remember that. Yeah. So here is the Plus Rom High Score Club for Jesus. Happy Bird. 206? Yep, and that's the person who made the game. Of course. <laughs> and there's pro mode, wow. which I think is more achievable, which is 78. 78. Okay. So we're going to try for that. That's still a lot. It is a lot of gates to go through. Yep. VVG double down. My sister. Me too. My sister did that yeah. to me. Did your sis, younger sister do I that did to that you? to me. I think <gasps> I tried to peel them off Bad. at some point. But I was uh, pretty young when it came out, so I don't think it was within my uh, and it's intellectual wrecked. capabilities. Then, then they didn't stay on; out. they kept falling off. Yeah. And my Rubik's cube was broken. Yeah, and I had a slinky, and she also wrecked that too. Oh, it's you know what? We do have to get Kristen on here someday. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I think, I think she'd, you would have a good time. Fun. You would reminiscing have fun. about yes. old times and she typed in a lot of the code for the programs you would yep. make on the Commodore she 64 too. Would read out hexadecimal code. Yeah. For um, binary games. 
Yeah. For yeah. Uh, so we would have tails. Need, That'd be fun. We need, we'll we need Kristen here. to show up one day. She's allergic to cats, so she well, would have to load up on... Uh, I don't think she's as bad as um, her husband, so yeah. yeah, I think she'd be okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, play Paul's Happy Bird and try and figure out who Paul is, because that's not the name of the developer. <laughs> okay. Let's reset this. Put in... Plus cart. Here we go. Click Wi-Fi retry because for some reason it uh, the timing it doesn't give enough time to connect to, to connect my properly? Wi-Fi. I think. Uh, mine. My uh, ROMs? Nope. So if you go to uh, public Homebrew? ROMs. Okay. And then homebrew. Oh wait. Uh, Nope, back. Sorry. Uh, what? Two dots. Just the two dots? Okay. Just like in Windows. Oh, have a good night, Steve. Oh, good night, Steve. Um, oh, I hope I recover quickly, too. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, go to... Uh, mm, oh, wait a second. Plus ROMs, I believe. Yes, plus ROMs. And then it is the High Score Club. Too many subcategories. Too many subcategories. He's like trying to find stuff on your computer. Oh, do, 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 yeah. Do. And it's, I, I couldn't find it at first, but it's actually under Happy Bird, not Paul's Happy Bird, which Just is the official Bird. title. Go to the right. Oh, you'll never yeah, make that's it. Much, that's much better. Way too fast. Back, oh. back. It's alphabetical Sorry. order. More than I thought. There Happy you go. Bird. NTSC. NTSC. And this has have um, voices in it. Nice. Oh, it's cute. There we go. So we're going to start you off on the easy mode. Oh, not pro mode. I thought pro mode was the when we had a chance of getting a high score. Well, we are, but we should. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Zero points. But we should. Oh, my gosh. Show the, no show the normal mode first. Oh, my gosh. Only press it at the low end of. No, press too early. Just before he's just before he's about to hit the bottom of the pipe. There we go. Oh it's different than other versions I've played. Usually you can hold it, but you don't get much height from the hold. I've never played one where you can hold it and it gives you less flapping. I've only had it where you could press it once. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a long time. I found this to be the easiest Flappy Bird I've ever played. Really? I have the yes. exact opposite. I've played Flappy Bird on my Pebble Watch. and The only thing you need to do is press the button when he's just about to hit the bottom pipe. That's it. There you go. Oh, I see what you're saying. And don't do it before because he'll hit his head. Because this one is a, a little bit weaker gravity than other ones I've played. That's that's what I mean, like. Which is good because it's like it doesn't sink like a stone. Yeah, you know. oh, oh, too early. Ready. Isn't that the mark for copyleft? Where? Super. Not the bird. What's the mark for copyleft? When there's a game over. When there's a game over next, don't press the button right away. Apparently, there's a. Oh, five, I can do better than five. I don't see the copy left mark. Stunning. Stunning. Gives words of encouragement as you play. <laughs> yeah, you have to get used to the gravity. Every version I've played, they're always a little different. It also feels really slow. Well, it's, a, it's in easy mode. Yeah, which is why I think hard <laughs> mode would be better, because it's actually sometimes easier okay. when it's speedy. Now that you've played... I think, I think pro mode is easier because you get through the pipes quicker. That's what I mean. Now the grass at the bottom is oh is done really well. It is cute. Not only does it wave in the wind, it's done but I by I think the missiles, which is really, really good. Nope, too far. 
Yes, you're ready. I do like promo better, though. Text Rich says, I admire the work anyone puts into their homebrews, but this doesn't look like much fun to me if it's too easy to hit the barriers. <laughs> I blame Tanya. Hey! <laughs> I had Flappy Bird on my Pebble Watch. Oh, Pebble Ooh, Watches. Pebble. I was thinking about that the other day. Oh, sadness. I love my Pebble Watch. Eight. Oh, terrible. Eight. 29 is probably what you got Where's the last I time you yeah. played. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I will, I will play more. It is an addictive game. Also, not the most exciting game to watch. <laughs> no, but, but uh, if we get a high score, that'll be something. 29 is pretty good. Uh, Try and interpret what yeah. he's saying. I like the grass on the bottom, though. Nice effect. Yeah. Really smart. Pebble Watch says nostalgic. Oh, nostalgic. Pebble Watches right. were these wonderful watches that were color e-ink. Were they color? They and were color ones. I had, I had the one that was actually they round, were. Pebble yeah. Round. Um, and they were a small, like, startup company that eventually, they got eventually bought got bought out by and Fitbit. Buried. And buried. Um, and there were a lot of, I think, local developers in Seattle who would make, who yeah. were involved, and they were really great watches. Uh, because and the battery, ink, oh my god, the battery was lasted forever, forever because it's e-ink. Yeah, and it actually had a color like watch face. Yeah, and you could see it in daylight. It didn't need any kind of illumination or backlighting. It was fantastic. Somebody thought it was too good and stopped making any watch using e-ink. Oh my god, stop it! Anyway, I'm just gonna complain now. A couple watches were so nice. And yeah, they bought it, and then they never made another e-ink watch, which I, I could not figure out why not. I mean, maybe the technology was expensive, but they still make black e-ink readers. Yeah. I was always surprised they didn't make more e-ink watches. It's the perfect application for it. It is, because... it And it did have a light, but you didn't... It... it it could be always on. You didn't need, you know, like these ones, which you have to shake your wrist to get it to show up, and half the time it doesn't do it anyway. Damn it! 78 is hard. Probably causes cancer in California, yeah. Oh, everything does. Oh, it's Canada. We don't <laughs> we don't care about that here. <laughs> well. Um, oh, Vitoko, playing along his best 13. <laughs> oh. Super. Super. It is very colorful. Yeah, the cute. bird uh, graphic is really colorful because the only thing on the same line as it is the play field that yeah, makes maybe. the uh, pipes. So he's, uh, the developer is able to use not only player one and player two, but they're also using the ball to outline the eyes. So it looks really good with three colors on a line. There's actually more colors that they're using. Oof, that was really close. Oh, it's flashing because you're... Getting the high score. Oh, that was good. I don't even know what that it was. was. 36. Uh, Damn it, Deb. It wasn't e-ink, it's e-paper. I didn't know there was a difference between e-ink and e-paper, but oh. um, they now have full-color e-paper displays that now they use in place of movie posters. Uh, you don't see oh. that tech too much though no i always thought it was gonna you were gonna see it in more devices and it really kind of disappeared other than in in um e-readers and that kind of thing that's a perfect yeah. application is posters yeah. because they don't change too often and that's yes. what um oh, e displays I love, I love my pebble e yeah yeah i just was very disappointed and then nothing really was no, they're all cool. high-end expensive watches now well instead and, of inexpensive and they're all i don't know i don't ask me the technology lcd led whatever <laughs> e -ink, OLED, e whatever it is but they're all like backlit not backlit that's not the right term but well yeah yeah backlit backlit or displays lit and... side lit they're yeah and they don't have the same battery oh, life yeah. Yeah, Gamma Dev. I miss my Pebble. Refused to buy Pixel Watch. <laughs> they had, after the company was bought out, there were people supporting the software for a little yeah. while. But then, yeah, I think at a certain point in time, I gave up. I'm not sure if my Pebble broke or something. Well, we some, sent it in something... a number of times. It, yeah, it did break. To somebody who was repairing them for the community. Yeah. Because 
there was no company anymore. Yeah. But then after a while, it stopped working, if I recall. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, sadness. Yeah, it was so good. I think it was the battery. I think it was dying. the battery. I yeah. Know. I gave up, says Vitoko. <laughs> Self aggrandizing. What a wonderful game. Or maybe it's talking about my gameplay. Not just like, oh, I made an Atari is better than Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did you awesome. catch that? Did you catch that? That's awesome. Says Atari is better than Nintendo. That was awesome. <laughs> Good job. I wonder if it only says that at, at a certain point, because I hadn't heard that one before. Yeah. yeah I think it when you hit 80. Great. Uh, let's do an, uh, older ones now. Yes! 100. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's rainbow time. Oh, my goodness. It's rainbow bird. That's a nice feature. That is feature. so nice. So you get oh, one, one, one. Woo! It's a good score. Double rainbow all the way. Woo! Hooray. <laughs> See, the cats are fine. Yeah. They're just a little on edge. Nyan bird. Nyan, yeah. Nyan bird. Yes. That was a good game. One, one, one. Let's see if it updated or my Wi Fi dropped. <laughs> That's it possible. Happens every time. It drops. Yeah. But I think Al's in the chat so he can fix it. Oh, automatically goes back. Not yet. Not uh, yet. Maybe it just needs a no, second. No, it's automatic. It's no! fast. No! What? Al, help me. <laughs> Why does it do this? Every time I get a high score on the plus cart, it's like, no. Nope. It doesn't want to give no. me that. No. So if we only show the best scores of each player, see, my best is 36. Oh, no. It might still update. And that was four minutes ago. Nice. So... It might still update. Maybe I have to start it. Yeah. Ooh, maybe the when it sends it is when you start the new game. Well, we'll try that. Mm -hmm. That's ready. So let's check. Check it now. I can play. Oh, you guys can see I'll die see that. in like 10, 10 rounds, so. You guys can't see the scores. I forgot. Um, Send Al a screenshot. Yeah. He, he does that um, for people who it didn't work for. Come on. Nope. No. Boo. Ah, 36. <laughs> High scores for IP address are blocked. <laughs> You're too good at these. Yep. Well, mm, no, there's some good players. Mm. A anybody can beat that score. That's mm. not that hard. Uh, this game didn't come out too long ago. Uh, okay. Uh, now that I got an awesome score. Um, He's not going to let me play again. That's oh, fine. you can. I can, re I can read <laughs> out. I'm not going to hit 111, though. You can do it. Okay. I'm going to read out some info because I didn't read out any info on this game. Yeah, you go ahead and read while I just continuously die over and over again. There we go. Oh, As a companion to the CC2600, I've written a, gray, a game for the Atari 2600, which you can download for free. It happens to be quite playable. Don't hesitate to report any bugs here on Atari Age. As it's quite fresh, but finished. The game should be available soon on the Plus Store. The free ROMs maintained by Prizrak. Magical. Magical. And should enter very soon in the High Score Club. The source code is available. Let's test on Stella. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, high Score save on Save Key. So it does save my High Score on my Save Key. Uh, amateur Pro Mode. Pause with the color black and white switch. Reach 100, 200, 300, etc. for some co colorful animations. So if you make it to 200, 200. and 300, there's an even, there's more, more. color. Yeah. Oh, well, you're going to try for 200? It's Cetra, it says, actually. No, I'm not. Uh, it takes a long time. <laughs> Technically, it's using an asymmetric play field, scrolling with a big main sprite with three colors on the same line, which is very cool. It's one of the more colorful 2600 games because there's just one character on the screen. Uh, and then this is... Uh, and the next update says, this is the updated version. I've re removed the issue with the paddle detection uh, in Stella. 
I've reached 206 in the high score club. I'm, I'm very bad at games. Should be easy to reach 1,000. Oh, my God. Um, and then for this update, uh, he says, I've received my Atari Vox. So here's a new version of Paul's Happy Bird with the Atari Vox support. 20 different exclamations while playing, which I'm pretty sure we heard almost all of them uh, while I was playing. And one exclamation every eight points. Okay. So a new one every eight points? A new one every eight points. We heard about 10, 12... Oh, we didn't hear them all then. With reset debouncing. Uh, test it on the plus card. Have fun. I don't know why my connection drops and why my connection is not strong in the beginning. Like when I turn on the plus card, it never, ever, ever, the first time I turn it on, will it get on the Wi-Fi. Sometimes it takes it takes at least one retry. And then uh, sometimes two or three. It might be my Wi-Fi. I've, I've gone to the bottom of the screen before to interfere with the grass on the bottom. And I don't know why, but it like zooms away from you. <laughs> When you go to near the grass on the bottom, it zooms away. It doesn't disappear. It like runs away oh, the, to the, the left. The grass runs away. Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> Pretty clear favorite. voices. It's my very, favorite so yeah, far. that one's a good one. Because the missile would change to that of the bird. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you noticed the outline, which is brown, which matches the pipes, which is the right. ball, um, when you get a high score, it the pipes yeah, change to heard. yellow, and the outline of the bird changes to yellow, too. Mm. Tell me when you give up. Yeah, okay, one, one more. more. One more. Incredible. Incredible. Whoa. Whoa, so close. I do like the voices. Yeah, and the little flap of the wings is so good. Like, everything's so good. Could only be made better if the bird blinks once in a while. Blink, mm -hmm. blink. That'd be so cute. Like a cat. Or it opens its beak or something, but that's not easily possible because then more than three colors be on the same line Have to do oh 27 yeah. pretty good nah. pretty good no. <laughs> <clears throat> uh okay so the next game is mm. cheat mm. and we're all around the right age range to know where this is from okay. so this is from uh a game based off of the world of homestar runner um and, and more people know of strong bad then Homestar Runner because he was like the big draw in his uh, strong bad emails. Yeah. Uh, so let's just take a look at some of the the. We're not going to play the audio because it probably get content matched, unfortunately. Um, but you can see the vid visuals of this. This should start. I wanted it to start around. Here, because this is one of the things in the game. Bub's okay. concession stand is okay. in the game, and Bub's is in the game, too. Uh, let's see if there's any other scenes. No. Outside. Oh, there's a good clean shot of Bub's concession stand. <laughs> and that's uh, Strong Bad. Yep. And that is Bub's. Um, there's Homestar Runner's feet. <laughs> um, uh, do we get... Oh, there's the cheat in this one. There we go. So there's the cheat. That's um, uh, Strong Bad's friend. They mm -hmm. get into misadventures. So he's a little yellow thing. Cheetah. <laughs> Cheetah thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very cute. Uh, this, ca uh, this, this cartoon has been running. Yeah, for a long time. I got to look it up. For a long time. Like, since I've been on, I don't know, at least 20 years, let's say. And I'm pretty sure it's at least 25 so i'm gonna look it up right now because i'm really curious because they still put out new ones not often though like twice a year yeah but they still are and they're still good when they put them out 
Uh, Homestar Runner. Uh, original release, 2000, January, January 1st, 2000. 2000. Wow. They really nailed that one. Uh, expanded the concept into, win into a website. Homestar Runner was uh, originated in 1996 as a book. Oh, okay. really? And then they learned Macromedia Flash. Yeah, it was, a f was Flash Video. Uh, originally, it was Flash Video for the longest time. For a very time, long until time. Until Flash died. Yeah. And then they made fun of Flash dying on their website, but they had to change their whole website. Yes, they did. They had to they convert it all, right? Because it was one of the first things on the internet that was like a long form video because it was yeah. done on flash on it was flash. so amazing yeah and then they dumped all of their videos onto youtube in hd which was great mm. never heard of it ah oh, lappy 46 46 i feel old so who knows who hasn't heard of homestar runner um so double down hasn't heard of it. Mm -hmm. um but the original way they did the video mm. first was not using flash it was actually using super nintendo uh mario paint oh yeah because you could do kind of animations, animations. in it and yeah. they would do draw and they would dump it to a vcr to record it and oh, they would funny. do the next thing and dump wow. it to a vcr really really cool um so it's done by two brothers the whole thing one does the animation, one does all the voices. That's amazing. Yeah, and then they do a cartoon within the cartoon, and they switch roles. And the cheat is doing the cartoon. Okay. So it's bad drawings and bad imitation voices, but it's just the two brothers switching roles. Oh, that's funny. So funny. Yeah. So good. When your creation will oh, last the yeah, platform. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's load that up. And take a look at Cheat, which is starring the Cheat. It's a very simple game. Mm -hmm. um, and they also have their own fake video retro video game company within the Homestar Runner world called Vidalex. Okay. Oh, okay. And it, this guy makes fake, fake Vitelectrix games. Oh. And this is actually the second Homestar Runner game he has he's made. made. But it's he not makes, actually related to Homestar Runner. It's related to It's not official. Not official. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the last one he made was Secret Collect, which is a block. Oh, I remember seeing other that. blocks. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually a thing within the world <laughs> of Homestar Runner was Secret Collect was a game in a video. Oh my god, it's mm -hmm. so funny. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I, it may appeal to your sense of humor. Um, go check it out. Watch the strong bad emails first. It's super bizarre. Yeah. Um, okay, so he said, so I made another game of sorts. This one is based on the ancient screenshot of Homestar Runner people made, the Homestar Runner people made that it was a parody of the E.T. game, but with their own character, the cheat. So this was uh, actually a game A with parody of the E.T. within Homestar Runner. Yes, so this was in a Homestar Runner cartoon. Oh, funny. You can skip the so-so title music and get into the gameplay. Oh. I don't hear any music. Guess who took the music out for this version. Um, but that's what the E.T. kind of looks like. I okay. have to go to the left to get out of that world. Um, so there's Bub's concession stand. More cakes! So he wants more cakes. Okay, I have to get cakes. Yep, so we avoid that guy. Right. And that's Tirelandia. Keep going. So you have to fall into a pit. That's that's the stick. And you get the yellow ones, not the black ones. Those avoid grumble cakes. cakes. You have to avoid the grumble cakes and get the yellow, yellow cakes. cakes. Uh, cheat cakes. So Bubs, the orange guy in the concession stand, wants 12 key, che cheat cakes. Little yellow boxes. You can only carry four at a time. Oh, how do uh, we get back out? Well, how do you do it in E.T.? I don't know. I've never okay. played E.T. <laughs> okay, you have to hold the button. Oh, okay. Uh, then you go back to Bubs. Avoid that guy. I don't know who that guy is. Let's see. Oh, that's strong bad. More cakes. I can't do Bubs' voice. Very unique. I guess it's Homestar Runner. Yeah. So I mean, uh, strong bad. Anything? Either one. <laughs> and your and your score is counting down. And you can fly and get them too. Just don't fly too high. 
This is getting a little inception here, yeah. Never played E.T. Oh, a surprised face from Nostalgia. More cakes. And so it I deletes the ones you have. Four at a time, I guess. Yeah, so he needs 12. So you've done two of four. So I need two times four. Uh, one more. Yeah. Bloop. Don't get caught by strong bad red guy or you'll steal your cakes and send you back to your house. If you fall in a pit, use the joystick button to levitate out. Also, watch out for grumble cakes, black boxes, because too many of those are bad for you. Uh, and then an update. You, you win! win! 3059. Try and beat your score. Oh, it's just, that's all it is? Yep. Just speed? <laughs> just speed. Good speed running game. Uh, March 30th update. Oh, okay. Even though this is mostly meant as a parody, I fixed things up so now it's actually a full game you can win or lose. Mm. Uh, also added some extra scenes. I'm going to declare this done for now, although there's about 80 bytes free on the 80K, 8K ROM that are taunting me wanting some extra content. So the screens. There's the title screen. Uh, Strong Bad, yeah. Nothing super amazing here. Strong Bad is just a cylinder because I needed two sprites to have the two-tone cheat graphic. Oh, yeah. It does have two colors. Um... Um, the stick with giant pits, of course, as theory, this is vaguely an ET parody. Uh, the weird home screen, like an ET. Hopefully I picked three representative places that authorities might drag you to. Wanted to add another place you could go. So here's Bob's concession stand. Not entirely happy with how this turned out. It's weird to see its head, it head on, but my attempts to have an off-center perspective looked worse. I think it looks really good, actually. Bob's concession stand. 6085. Okay. Can ask. Now I'm just gonna. Game over. That's supposed to be a bear holding a what shark. What is this? That's his house. This is his house? Yeah. Uh, Cause he lives in a um, barbecue, a round barbecue. Oh, does he? And that's Funny. the the king of, uh, the king of town? Not king Bubs? of town. Bubs? No, that, that castle oh. in the top right. What? Did I fall? I just wanted to see what was around. No, oh, nothing. Okay. Him. You could die. It's pretty simple. And that'll show a different screen. How many grumble cakes? I don't know, four? Nope. Then, then. Keep getting the grumble cakes. Three. It's a bear holding a shark. <laughs> um, what happens if Strongback gets you? Let's oh. see. Oh, you sends you home. Sends you home. And takes all your uh, cheat cakes. Mm. Um, as a mini fact, why is there a period missing after the T on the title screen? To distract you from the period missing after the C being too short. Actually, getting those periods drawn on the most complex about the title screen. Did you decompile the Flash version of this game? No, there's no Flash version of this game. So blame all the game, blame for the gameplay falls on me. Why is the plot so weird? It's a vague parody of the infamous ET game for the 2600, which is really weird to play if you don't read the manual. Even if you do, it's fairly inscrutable. Uh, question: Did you ever play ET games back in the ancient times? Answer: Watching somebody play ET poorly in the 1980s is possibly my first console gaming memory. I don't remember if it was ever allowed to play it, but I'm sure I wasn't very good at it. Question, why is the music so awful? How come we can't hear music? Yeah, I don't hear any music. Do I have things not hooked up properly? Maybe. Oh, I do. Let's get some music. Do you hear the self-proclaimed? you win! Self-proclaimed terrible music. Okay, now there should be music. Mm. Press it again. Theater 78. Surprise, it's glitching between screens. Though I had got thought I got rid of, uh, rid of all those. The music is only on the title screen, but we didn't hear any music on the title oh, screen. Oh, it wasn't plugged in properly. Do it again. Oh. Or I'll have to reset it. Reset it so we can hear the title music. Uh, I can't. Thank you, Text Rich. You only get it once. No. No. I'll have to reload it. That's okay. Right, reload it. <sighs> reload Ready. the cheat. I'm going to play now? Yeah. What was your high score? Oh, 6,000 something. Watch. Well, you're playing. You only get four. Okay. Four, I lost four, count. four. You'll probably beat me. You're moving faster than I was. I tend to avoid Homestar Runner. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, now yellow. there's actual sounds. That was weird. Because the yellows, well, I didn't have them plugged in. Because the yellows reappear instantly as you get one. So if you fly near the top. Yeah, you get another one pretty quick. Oh. You got four. Speed running. Good job! 7422. Two. I can do better. That. You don't lose score with Grumpy, right? so you just lose your life eventually. RC70, flying doesn't cost energy, doesn't it, Niti? Uh, it does. Ah, oh, I can't get that one. No, you can't. Oh, I got RNG. Did I, get, I didn't get enough. No! Oh... Uh. Oh no, I still have to get more, four more. Oh, it's not going to be a good one. Tedrick says, haha, you're much better at this than I am. <laughs> Look how yeah, fast. I, I found some, some shortcuts. Oh, not good. It was 7-4 or something, right? Did somebody yep. write it down? 7-4 or something. No one's writing it down. Oh. oh, that was a good one. Oh, no! No! Check the recap, says VVG Double Down. <laughs> Check the recap. Sideways oh, Strong no. Pad is a clever oh. sprite. Yeah, I, I like the Strong I got strong wrecked. Pad. No. Oh, not going to win now. No, I got wrecked. Oh, can I just reset? Nope. Eat some grumble cakes. Oh, I have to eat the grumble cakes to eat die. Those grumble oh, cakes. the sprite's offset. Is that how he's supposed to look? Hmm? What? She, she looks like he has a shadow. Sit. There you go. No! So, the cats are looking much more chill. I feel like they could almost do a treat time, but. In a second. They both have their eyes open, though. We'll have to see. Maybe at the end of the show we'll be one. Yeah. Oh, I got cheated. Oh, twice! <laughs> rage reset. Oh, rage reset. Doesn't respond immediately when you press the button. No! Come on! <laughs> Sprite is usually trying to get to the treat shelf by now. Very true. Yeah, they're, they've been a bit... <sighs> oh, no. You're not going to do it now. Uh, I got it. One more. I have to go die in the... Ah! Because I have to come on this screen at the top, then yeah. duck. That's... Three. Yeah. Close enough. The top. More duck takes. under. Just make you want to. Three. Four. Go to the top. Duck under. Good job. Small mistakes, but that's really close to as best as you can get. <laughs> Don't think you can get 8,000. No. Thank you, RC70. Okay. Now we're on to our very last game. Should Strongbat be annoyed by represented by a featureless cylinder? Hopefully you realize it's a step up. I was going to say thank you, Dieter. Who I believe oh, is the, uh, yes. the game developer. Thank you Thank for joining you, us. Dieter, <laughs> for making such cool uh, games. Yes. Real. In the in the in the strong bad universe. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know they have actually made real video games. 
a couple of real video like games. Like on the on the actual strong bed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like seven or eight. Some oh. really simple ones and yeah. then some more complex ones. They've made actual board games too. Nice. But it's cool to see some of the, the weird ones that they would just never make made into real games. Yeah. Or even screenshots in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last one we're going to go to the plus card. Whether or not it's going to record my scores. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And actually this is a two player game. You're playing Kovey Kovey. There the whole time been... Interesting fun fact, by the way, oh, Dieter was the name of our black kitten Sprite before oh. we changed it when we adopted him. He was listed as Dieter. Oh, little Dieter. So, so there's a little link there. <laughs> <laughs> little baby the Homestar Renna people know of these games. They've said nice things on Twitter. Oh, that's oh, nice. Really? Oh, <laughs> they that's probably so nice. still like that people are still fans of their content, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, my feet. How's your foot? It's you it's surviving? There. Yeah. Yeah, I'm poor surviving. foot. So go to public ROMs. Then work in progress. I couldn't find it for a while. I talked to the developer. Yeah. And, he, and so this is Kovi, so we yeah, go under that. What is it? Sorry, Co Kovi. K O V I. Okay. Uh been like where's k in the alphabet okay uh, kobe 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 yep kobe kobe so this is an updated version we played it last um on march 20th what is it vitoko is this vitoko's game no 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 uh, this is uh marco j and okay. he said he may or may not be able to oh vitoko just said go to recently added Oh, on the top menu, direct access to new releases. That Good helps a to lot. know. Good to know. This Thank is not you. Super new. It's well, it's pretty new. May seventh. Yeah. 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 And DSC. Yes. We haven't suddenly changed regions or anything like that. <laughs> um, nope. I would. I would need a PAL <laughs> system for it to work, though. Uh, uh, I've let him know that it's all. Free. Okay. This is okay. This is not the way it's supposed to be, but it's yeah. the way it is. Um, okay. This also has a high score. Okay. For all the many variations. So let's switch to one player, or keep it on one player. Okay. Um, so you can play while I read it some stuff out, and then we'll play two players. So, uh, the different modes. Let's see which mode. Two available, marathon and sprint. Okay. Um, so which modes can you put in? Or is it game? Maybe. A, B. Just aim it. So. Music. A. That's up to you. The music one. Sure, we'll go with C. Okay. Uh, what's marathon versus sprint? I mean, it lists marathon first and right, sprint we'll second. A. Yeah. And then game modes. Uh, it's not really showing. Like, game. Are these the game modes? Oh, it just goes up and a, up B, and up. C, D. Let's start with A then. Oh, that's the bottom. See, it reflects oh, in the bottom. Oh, ratio, speed, stack. Okay. Okay. Beginner? Yeah. Oh, I see. Keeps the fun. Uh, okay, we'll start with beginner. Yeah. Sounds like um, Dr. Mario. It's, yeah, I think that's what they're going for. Marco was going for, for, for feel. Yeah, the color cycling is pretty cool. Okay. I don't know if you remember how to play yeah. this. Oh, it's pretty glitchy. Oh, it is. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Marco. So you have to... S you build up chains. And then you use the needle to poke the same color. So that would have to be purple. Or no. Oh, it has to be the same color as the needle. I think so. You're correct. I do remember this now. And as long as they're all touching, like all the yellows are touching together, if you needle a yellow, it'll get all the yellows. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. There you go. <laughs> Marathon is a gas station sprint sells cell service. That's fine. 
So let's read what the updates are. Kofi Kofi version 2 binary has been released. Please see top of form for latest binary. Uh, version 2 activity log added a new top 5 high score screen on the main menu for plus ROM enabled devices and emulators. Please choose game sla mode slash game and press select. Uh, thanks to Alan Lefer. Changing of flashing options on main menu to be a flashing needle. This helps visibility of the selected option. Oh, okay, that's cool. So there's the needle, and I think you have to press to the right once it's in place oh, it's to slow. plunge it in. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. It is slow. That's okay. dropping makes it drop right to the bottom, doesn't it? And you don't want that. Yeah. Plunge! I... Or is that not how it works? Oh, it worked. Uh, dancing nurse sprites have more frames. <laughs> what kinds of the nurse sprites? I don't think we see them yet. Uh, added mode, uh, game modes E and F called Spikes Galore and Need a Cure. I'm gonna refresh myself on the on the rules here, especially yeah, the I needle. Yeah, I vaguely remember the rules. Because I just need to refresh myself on how the needles work because the colors are fine they all just it just a... has to be pointing towards it you don't have to hit a button or anything okay. like that let's see needle types so there are five needle types mm -hmm. four are colors corresponding to the different kobe's um blue green pink yellow needles have the same uh well and there's white needles the white needles are special. They can destroy other virus strains. So whites are like a catch-all. Mm -hmm. Injecting a Kobe with the wrong vaccine will cause the strain to turn into a white Kobe. And then you see you have three white Kobe's there. And then a really bad white Kobe that I turned into a rock. <laughs> yes. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see what it says about those. Um, injecting a white Kobe with a non-white vaccine, so you can get the white Kobe's out of there with a with a white needle. That's the only thing that gets them. But if you do it with a non-white needle, oh come on, there it, we go. It creates debris, so you have. I have debris. One debris. I have I have a debris issue. <laughs> yeah, the debris will fall down progressively as space is made underneath. When debris gets to the bottom of the map, it disappears. It does clear. So if you get rid of those uh, that green stretch of three, you'll be able to get rid of that one debris. I think that that's pretty... I think we understand the rest of it. And so we've got now two white copies. Okay, always better to kind of connect them all up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a blue one. Jump, 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 jump. Eat up those COVIDs. No, they're Kobe's. <laughs> Nothing to do with COVID at all. Nothing, no. Not related in any way, shape, or form. So you always want to use the needle on the right color, or it's oh, going to create yeah. trouble. Ooh, that'll be a nice combo. Chomp, 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 chomp. chomp. And then debris disappears. Oh, oh, nice. Got rid of the debris. This is very cute. It's so cute. The characters, their movements. Um, this, it, once you understand the game, it's, it's actually quite simple. It's just a couple twists like, oh, what do the needles do? How do they work? Yeah. You have to just have to face them in the right direction. Sorry for the flickering, everyone. That I, I'll I'll work with Marco to um, try and try and help that out. It's obviously uh, misbehaving. I don't know if it's just my system. Left, left. There you go. And it does it whether it's on the harmony card or the plus card, so it's independent of that. Oh, as a follow-up to my toe, the toe. Foot, at my sister's, 
They are playing a game well. of Would You Rather. We're not really playing a game, discussing we're, we're the discussing game. We're discussing it, yeah. They kind of barely played it. Um, and one of the, the topic that kind of introduced it or as was used as an example yeah. uh, was would you rather be stabbed in the foot <laughs> or pay $10,000? So the next day after I was slept and recovered a bit, yeah. I messaged my sister. <laughs> I said, Guess I, what got, happened. I got stabbed in the foot. <laughs> Uh, by cat teeth, so <laughs> that was ho that but was. But you didn't have to pay funny... ten thousand dollars, so well, it you was know. an it was an or proposition. It was so... an or proposition. <laughs> and I said, I'd rather pay ten thousand dollars. Yeah, did you? Yes. Then be stabbed in the foot. Well, it wasn't like this wasn't a stabbing, like with a knife right through it. Well, that's true. Was way more destructive than this, which is quite destructive. But you didn't take a chunk out. He didn't break a bone, as far as I can <laughs> no, tell. No, that's true. That's Maybe true. he did. Um, they have set me up for... They, I have a requisition for x-rays, okay. if if it does you come to it. that. Yeah. But I don't I don't feel that he did into the bone, but it's still possible. Yeah. Because I still like have pain, but it goes down to almost no pain at some times during the day. But I don't know what that feels like. I've never had a broken bone. So, well, I think the issue is not biting the bone, but getting a bone infection. I think that would be the bigger concern. Yes, that's the bigger concern. Ugh. But I am taking antibiotics. Um, yeah, the stomach says, bacteria. this is game of extra RAM. The pit must require a lot of it with the ex with all the possible shapes. Yes, it does. Let me just look up what bank switching scheme it uses. And I can tell you. It's an E7 with 16K. So let's see E7 bank switching scheme. I believe his other game also uses a lot of a lot of memory as well. Seven RAM. It says on this post that Thomas Yench posted it says there's two two <coughs> K of theoretical RAM mm. on E seven. So which is Fair amount of RAM to add on to it. Uh, one of them leads to Marco J's game. <laughs> You're looking it up. E7. Uh, full 2K of RAM. So he used uh, the full 2K of RAM on PitCat. So if you saw PitCat, you'd be like, oh yeah, of course it definitely uses mm. 2K of RAM. There's a lot going on. A lot of things being able to be manipulated on the screen. Um, and with the number of spots that characters can go and the variety of characters that can go in those spots, plus the storage of what the next character is, the score, um, probably a bunch of other things as well. It's going to chew through that 2K pretty fast. Do you think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across? One, two, three, four, five, ten, let's say 12. So eight by 12 spots. You have to have a, maybe a, a bite for each just to be safe because there's a number of characters. You could use a half bite. 8 by 12. You're probably not getting very close to the 2K, but you do need you do need a bunch. So this game does definitely have extra RAM. There's no way this is fitting in the 128 uh, bytes. 
So we have ideas for three t-shirts. Yes. Tanya came up with one. Yes, what was my idea again? Well, we, we don't <laughs> want to say it. When we announce it and show it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay. Yeah. yeah you came up Got with that Got some t-shirt ideas. Sunday. So I'll... When I have some time, they're all very easy for me to make. Um, so I can get those done pretty Yay. quick. So we'll have at least three t-shirts coming up. Plus all the corresponding mugs and... If All you want it on a pillow, stuff. it's just pick whatever you want to put it on. But mostly it's t-shirts. Um, okay, are you going to play this forever? Probably. Let's I go to two-player. Okay. It's pretty jumpy, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. Maybe two-player won't be jumpy. I hope those ideas came around before your injury. <laughs> oh, they did. Nothing to do with the injury. Hey, foot's on the lappies. Get your foot off the lap. Get it off. Get it off. It's fine. There you go. Okay, two-player. Uh, different music. Um, oh, oh, it says what it is on the right. So sprint or marathon. Let's do sprint to 32. Okay. Um, so not beginner. Heating up. Let's just do the next Sure. One. So this is a flip mode screen. Mm -hmm. So you're first. This is me. And we get the exact same characters, I think. change the direction of the needle it goes the direction you, you direct it and it stays that it way stays so if you go way. down it'll yeah yeah chum, chum, chum. That's very cute. super cute and zero left. I'm guessing that's lines or we'll find out as soon as we well it's not lines. This doesn't work in lines. So we have score there. Oh there you go. It's like it wasn't going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> oh something happened. Oh you punished me. Ha ha you're you. gonna punish me now. Oh, yeah. Probably Oh yeah, screen went crazy. That's cool that the screen goes crazy when it um, sends something over to the other person. That benefited you. You got a pink on a pink. Uh, got lucky. Got lucky. Yep. Not 33 and 0. 30 and 30. 29 and 20 oh, left. 29, 29. Yeah, Those that are the two. Makes sense. Uh, okay. okay. So we're even right now. Put a pink needle and a green one next. Punishment. Oh. Kaboom. It is very Dr. Mario like. I like this game a lot. It's like easier than Dr. Mario. <laughs> it is. And cuter. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Mario is cute. Oh. Punishment for you. Pink on a white Punishment. one. Still tied though. Kobe remaining to kill. Uh, okay. I need a white one. Yep. Bridge over to the yellow. We'll see. Ooh, Ooh, white there one. is a white one. Okay. Oh, I don't have mine lined up, unfortunately. No. So, yeah. I have more whites. Yeah, you've got yours all level, lovingly lined up there. I'm gonna get a. Did it work? Attack. It didn't look like it went down to the bottom all the way. What? It did. I thought there was some left. No, no, I think it got them all. Oh, no, it didn't! Why? Oh, that's odd. Why? Maybe there's a limit to the white ones? Oh, interesting. Uh, uh, I'm just going to go over there, because I need to join those green up. Oh, now there's a green needle. It also gets any whites nearby, too, when you 
eat a whole section of color. It, it will destroy a couple of... Or maybe oh. it dropped to the bottom. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Mm. I... Oh. <laughs> no, that too much. Not too much. Nice. Oh, disturb the cats. Sorry, kitties. Still tied. Because we get the same needles each time, or is it just total number that we are getting rid of? Like, you're going to get rid of six. The score six at the bottom there. is at 79 and 57. Because you're going to get rid of six Kobe there. Oh, I'm at 104. But it only got rid of one. So it's a combination. But isn't that going to give us a score. tie? You've got a score. You've got a score. You've got 57. You've got 93. 93. Yeah. I have 104. Oh. But I'm just saying at the top, how many left? Yeah, it's, it's gonna always going to be even. It's going to be Unless we miss using a needle, yeah. I guess. Kotoko says 1,007 V. Oh, is that your score? What, uh, which, uh, which game did you play? Syringes are the only thing that kills them. Um, I think so. I don't really have time to look too quick. Yeah, it does eat the white. It does eat oh, the white. okay. Yeah, uh, syringes are the only thing that kills them. So you have to get the syringe to kill the rose you create. Uh, Marco also posted a soundtrack of the oh, game. Oh, really? So he posted the three, nice. uh, the three tunes. Nice. The uh, tunes are really the nice. Atari forms. Yeah, they're really good. He says he uh, made them using the TIA tracker. First time composing original music for a game. Uh, let's do this. It's great music. Kicking my ass. My ass 130, 140 now. Uh, Still beat me. Still beat. On default game, thousand. a lot. I think it's actually glitching more on our screen than yours. Uh, yeah, it might be like tempering the effects, <laughs> but I don't know. Still, it's still very playable with even with the glitches. A little annoying. this and leave those open. Ooh, look at those. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, oh, blue yellows. syringe. No. don't have like any blues. One blue. He's going to get poked. Poke. Poke. I have no accessible blues. So, so we need to do yeah, it'll drop. Like, it'll drop through. Yeah. Does it get yeah. stuck there? Does it stay there forever? Uh, it's better than turning I it into a white. I thought those fell through, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Maybe because it it has stay nothing there to stick into because it's pointing down. Might a CRT handle the screen jumps better or worse? I'm not sure if what kind of screen jumps these are because I have it on triple buffer should that and it should like almost eliminate these jumps but it pro it probably would be handled better on a CRT thanks do what I can because <laughs> the CRT does not care what it gets and these kind of weird off kilter things usually don't don't really affect CRTs. Uh, let's do that. 
Oh, you're beating me. You're beating me. You've got a much, ranges, though. much calmer. Yeah, you have a much calmer play field. Oh, here comes the first syringe. Or here comes a syringe. Up much. Oh. oh, now we have a difference. Now you have one more than me. Oh, because I misused a syringe. It just did nothing because I had nothing to put it in. That's why you're beating me now. Uh. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Legs. It's funny. That, uh, Some of them have legs, yeah. They're they, they're so cute. The characters. Some of them are talking to each other. Some of them stand up on legs. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Oh, three. Very nice. Oh, thanks. You're gonna get, you're gonna get me a lot in this one too. Yep. Your score is a hundred more than mine. Oh my. Your play field's so much clearer, you've just been stacking them better. I don't know. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. What's that say? Look like a stack of lost souls in a trench coat trying to pass as an adult human. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Three kids in a trench coat trying to get into the movies. Mr. Adult Man. Mr. Oh, Adult Man. Oh, it, from uh, Bojack, of, Bojack Bojack Horseman. Bojack Horseman. Is that the name? I can't remember. Something Adult Man. Yeah, Adultman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the first name. Yeah, right, but it it's Adultman. Very, very, very good. Oh, oh my I have God. Three. Yeah, mine was a good combo there. Oh, I caught up in score a little bit. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Vincent Adultman. There it is. Vincent, Vincent. Vincent Adultman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's a good one. This. Maybe it'll get rid of that syringe yeah, if I put another blue syringe on it. Uh, okay. Let's just do that. So we have a white syringe and I have nothing to put it into. But you do, but you can't. Oh, whites do anything. Yeah, they do. I forgot about that. I should have gone for the pink, but that's okay. Yes. My biggest one. It's probably blue. the blue. Yep. Let's see what happens. Does it get rid of the syringe? Nope. Would you like an alcohol? <laughs> would you like it? I would like an alcohol, please. So that syringe is there forever. Nothing. Got, the white didn't get I rid of it. I don't know if anything gets rid of it. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I'm only like seven points behind you now. What? Big catch up. Yeah, I was that gave 100. you a lot of score. That gave you a lot of score. I was a hundred behind you before. Score, syringes. <laughs> score, syringes. Those... Yeah. No, it's gonna make a mess of my board. Nom 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 nom. nom. Oh yeah, three sixty six. So yellow syringe or no? Pink. My pink. Ah, oh, it's not good. To get, oh, BBG double down. If you want to get rid of syringe, just throw it in the ocean. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's one I way. don't suggest that. No. 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 <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Green. Uh, we got yellow yeah. coming up next. Yellow Ooh. syringe. You're going to get it. me. No. Oh, they're not connected. I wanted to get them more connected. That's okay. You're going to get a lot more than I'm going to get, get yeah. from mine. So. I may not even uh. drop one. Let's put that there. Good job. Yeah, because then it connects the pink. It's going to go bam! Ooh. Bam! I'm almost still a little bit hot behind. Would you rather get stung by a jellyfish or step, step on, on a, a discarded syringe? Ooh. Oh, stung, stung by, by a jellyfish. jellyfish. 
Yeah. Yep. There's some bad jellyfish, though. Really bad. Yes, but... Um, Syringe could be anything. Yeah. There's Incurable a lot of bad diseases. diseases in syringes, so... Jellyfish are at least, like, known like what to do, maybe, with them, and there's antidotes. Yeah, and... it would be awful, but... Uh... Yep, very awful. Get rid of it! Ah, it's staying there forever. It's still 20 behind you. You're beating me on nexts. Or sweet, sweet heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Could get a surprise like that. Yeah. Doubt anyone's gonna leave that left over. It's gonna be used up. Arsene 70, even if it was going to kill me, I think I'd pick the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, long suffering disease. Mm. Uh, no. Okay, let's do this. Uh oh. Hit to the left. Boom! Explosion! I'm no! beating you for once, finally. No! Oh. Still beating me in next. I don't know when the the game ends on when you're done. Your yeah, probably when you are done yeah. your lines. And then it's based on score at that point, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, those probably have to go here. Hi, black kitten. Oh, sweetie cat. Oh, he is kitten. a sweetie. Yeah, I got scared. So scared. Well, since that is. Shall the... we? We'll try some um, tree time. At the end. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Devastation! Going down. Oh, the score! The pain! What was it? Green. Green. Uh, well, there is a green. We have some green. Not much. Oh, sure. No, oh, you're beating me still. Ooh, just barely. Yes. You caught up a lot with that one. Uh, this is spaced out in mine. Yours are very clumped, your oh, colors. Oh, I try as best I can. It just makes a mess. I think pointing down a little. Oh, it doesn't. It does get the white. Because, oh, the white. I okay. had a white one there, so I did get that one. for a pink needle. Mm. You only have ten lines left. <laughs> ten. Oh no! Or, or ten Kobe. Oh, there's a green syringe coming next. Do I have green? I don't think I have much green. Green. I don't have any green exposed. This is going to be bad news. I, I have nothing. I... Oh, but you can point it up. Uh, but then you just get one or two. Ooh, right? Let's do this. I don't know. And then you have to drop green on it. Perfect chill game. Agreed. Oh yeah, it's like really calming. And it's and this is a pretty decent speed. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. See there, I could probably, it would probably work. I don't know if it does. How do you prime it? How do you do that? How do you do the needle? And it's like that. I thought you could. Got a few. Oh, oh no. Yeah. You're gonna destroy me. Oh yeah. You're already winning. Munch, munch, munch. Now you only have nine left. Or eight. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, the yellow's not. Yeah, you got lots of pink though. Oh god. <gasps> what did you do? <laughs> oh, made a huge mess. I'm surprised it didn't turn that one white. Oh, you're gonna totally destroy me now. I just made a huge... I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> As Job would say. As Job, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> controller must be broken. That's right. Damn controller. Need a new one, double down. Oh no! Take a chunk. Down to yeah, seven yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I need a blue. 
Yeah, blue would be good for you. Blue oh, that's a pretty good spot. Three behind you. I've messed up so badly on the needles. Yellow is coming next. I don't think I have much yellow. Oh, I just buried my only yellow. Six lines for you. And your throne's in garbage. Thank you. Try my best. So, all I can do is get rid of that. Yeah. Group. Get rid of it. Oh, it doesn't even do that. Why doesn't it do that? Why doesn't it do that? I don't have time to read why it doesn't do that. I don't know why I did. Upright is closed until it falls. Ah! Make it go. There is information there, but I don't can't read it quick enough. Ah. I'll read it for you when <clears throat> I'm done. <laughs> Thanks. I think the game is Oh over. Yeah. yeah. I'm done now, that's for sure. Unless you mess up. Nope. Nope, not messing up. Not gonna happen. Oh the not score. Gonna happen, not gonna oh, happen. you're almost two hundred ahead of me. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh thanks so much. Thank you so much for that. So gracious. Um, hand me that and I'll help you out. It's right on there somewhere. Green and yellow. Your turn. And now you have four lights left. Do, 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 do. Uh, yellow. Needle's still there. Aww. Where? Sucky. Where? Okay, and there's some greens. Oop, just don't have to throw one at me. I'm going to back up. It has to fall. You have to make the needle fall. Oh, and then it primes. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I knew that there makes was sense something you could do. Because with then it. the plunger hits, right? Yeah. Even though it doesn't hit when so it's you... actually falling. Not easy to orchestrate though. Very hard. All you need is two needles to appear, and you're, you're, you've got it. You've got all the colors on the board. Ready you need to one go. needle, right? Or two? Is that how many needles you get? Can't remember now. What? Get one. Where it says next two that's or how many six. How many more... needles you've used? No, that's how many more you need to do uh. to win the game. Thank you, VVG Double Down. It says twenty dollars on Tanya for the win. Oh no! Can you not? Oh, I should have. You you kind of want to. But you want to do it beforehand. <sighs> yeah. So if they're not connected, they start. They just go to the bottom. You have no control after they disconnect. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Ah, learning the rules as I go. Uh, can the plus card enable multiplayer watch out, turn based? Watch out, watch out. Uh, yes, it could do a multiplayer turn-based game a lot easier than a real-time game. We did play a real-time game on the plus cart. You win, P1 wins by every measure. Yeah. 
Yeah, Darcy and I played uh, combat over the internet. Oh yeah, that was crazy. It was in the plus cart. Um, it quickly got out of sync um, because there was no like resyncing mechanism because it was it was basically combat and it was just sending the signals like somebody turn left, send the left turn, but it just kept going way and more and more out of sync. Mm. But with a turn-based game, all the other people could be just waiting for the signal for them to be finished and the next person waits for the signal to be finished so i think that would be a lot easier to program over the internet for a turn-based mm. game vitoko oh. says my 10 liner based on chase is almost ready wow today i tried it for the first time in my 800 xl using the bratwurst controller and it was hard <laughs> oh good yeah excellent. well chase is a hard game i yeah it's very difficult to play uh excellent excellent game i'm gonna um, try and work with Marco J to help get rid of these glitches. Yeah. So that if I'm having the trouble, other people will be having mm -hmm. the trouble on certain yeah. um, certain systems. So. What you don't want all the sparklies? Oh, those going are on? supposed to happen. Yeah. The jumping is the bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today, oh, we can do we we can try. Should we try time. some treat time, people? Uh, do the catnip first. That was the experiment. You, oh, no, I, I just want just to do cat treats. Nap, just treats. Just do treats. And not a game? We'll, not, uh, we'll do a little game, but we'll see how they respond because they're a little sensitive. Yeah, they're a little sensitive. Oh, yeah. oh party okay, time cat for kittens. Cats, cats. Party time for cats. All right. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, 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 cats. cats. cats okay. Cats, 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 cats. So we're cats, supposed cats, to be cats, subduing cats. a sprite. Yep. Put a tiny bit in the lid. With catnip. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Good. Okay. I'll let you put that down. Oh, let me put that down. No, it's fine. Yeah, you're okay? Yeah. Can reach? Oh, you oh, said it oh, already. Oh, oh, cat. Catnip face. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> His whole face is covered in it. He's not even eating it. He just rubs around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, oh my God. It's only Sprite in it, because... Yeah. He's he not... won't even let let Atari anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. He's not ingesting <laughs> it whatsoever. He doesn't... He just likes it. to rub his face in it. Is it fun? Is that good? Is that good? Is that good, little fluffy? You want some Atari? Here. Hold that. There you go. There you go. He says no, the... He's got it. Atari, have some catnip. It says it's too close to that of the cat. Oh, <laughs> grumble cat. Grumble cat. Uh, Sprite is acting a copycat of what Atari did. Yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just rubbing his face. Oh, you're so silly. And dirty. So dirty. Oh, so filthy. Are you f having fun? I wonder if it affects them just sniffing it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure it's just the smell and everything. Yeah, it looks like he's out of it now. Oh, oh, Tari's going for a little bit. He actually eats it. He does like it. Right. Puts his nose right up to it and he just inhales it all nom, in. Nom, 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 So we'll give Atari a little bit to, to eat some. Yeah. And then we'll see how it affects the cats. People are saying, oh, we're going to do a scientific study. <laughs> Is it scientific? <laughs> and, I, and I said, if you write it down, it's science. Gotcha. True. I, I think that's from Mythbusters. Is that, it? That's saying. <laughs> if you write it down, If you write it down, it's science. It down, it's science. <laughs> if you don't write it down, it's just messing around. Nice. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do a bell. Yeah. We'll do some treats. He's almost done it. He's licking the last of it up. Yeah. Sprite is fully in the, into it right now. Yeah. He's happy. Yeah. Rolling around. He is a handsome cat. Kitty microdose and a cure PTSD. Yeah, oh, exactly. Maybe. Maybe yeah. it'll help them. Yeah. They both have a little PS oh, PTSD. Yeah, PTSD. Oh, PTSD. Oh, we got a, we got got, a roly-poly Atari. Yeah, both of them are rolling around oh, now. Yeah, he's licking his face now. Okay, I think we're ready. They're, they're at maximum highness. Yes, maximum relax. I got it. You do yep. that. Okay. Are we doing the bells? Yep. Somebody want to, somebody want to trigger the bells? Oh, we, well, we'll just do it. If you feel like triggering it. If you want to claim the bells, go oh. for it. Shut the door. Shut the door. You'll run out. Nope. It's treat time. Okay. Yum. Oh, yum, oh yum, thank yum, you. Yum. Our 
C70. Okay, ding the bell. Oh, tied one all. One, two. Sorry's a little, a little slow. slow. <laughs> Sprite is unaffected. Yeah. Oh, oh two for Sprite. Sprite. Oh, you gotta throw it in there. It's okay. Oh, three. Oh my goodness. Ding the bell. Oh, he's still chewing away on it. Yeah. Sprite inhales it. He does not chew. Oh, three, oh, two three for two. Sprite. Four, two for Spriteys. Thank you, RC70. <laughs> and Chelsea Donnie Mao. Oh. Five, two. Woo. Oh. oh, almost uh -oh. caught it. Atari's always off screen. Good, good, you got, <laughs> you it. Just you got it, you got it. Yeah, I, I saw, okay. I saw. Five, three. Just trying to get him back on screen. Six, three for Sprite. Ooh. Oh my God, he caught it in the air. He's getting really good at catching them in the air. Oh, almost. Oh. Seven, three for Sprite. Oh, I heard that last one. Did you? S yep, tiny ring. Seven, four for Sprite. Mm -hmm. Aha. <laughs> Yeah, I should turn that off. Oh my gosh, she catches it in the air. 8-4 for Sprite. 8-5 for Sprite. Tar's doing not bad. He was a bit distracted. Oh my god, 9-5. Oh, that was a tough one. I didn't even see where it went. 9-6. 9-6. Cheating, interference from the judges. <laughs> I did send it into the nooks and crannies of the uh, desk there. Oh no, he's Sorry, buddy. around. Is he? I don't know where it is. Nope. 9-7. Oh no, I feel bad now. Uh, I didn't mean to. The wires. Do you want to go and check, or do you Just want me to? Just give him another one. Here. Here. It'll distract me. There you go. There. Now he thinks he's got it. Nine seven. Cheating. So much cheating. Oh no, he knows there's Nine, still eight. one more. Oh no, I think Atari's gonna get it. <laughs> Not legitimate. Oh, Not it is. Legitimate. It is. Game balancing. <laughs> It is game balancing. If it cuts out all of a sudden, it's because Sprite has disconnected a wire. I wasn't going to, but I, they're they're in better moods now. They is it are. ten? Is it oh. gonna win? Oh, it's not making noise yet. No, it's too soft. A little harder. You're oh. a little too catnippy. A little too catnippy. Come oh, on. Oh, a little harder. No. Yay! Oh, he won. Atari won. Is it ten nine? Ten nine. Oh, Yay. ten ten. Good kitties. Good kitties. <laughs> It is game balance. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I wasn't gonna do the competition because they were kind of hissing at each other before, but they seem to have relaxed. So yeah, um, gotten a little bit better now. Yeah, oh, poor guys. Can you open the door. Yeah, it's hot in here. Yeah, Woo. it's a hot day. It is a warm day. So today we played a lot of good games. A lot, lot of good, good games. games. Frazzled, very early beginnings of Frazzled. Very fun. I like um, it. Um puzzle game, challenging, but once you start knowing how to change things, that's gonna be incorporated into he's still looking for it. Is he? Um incorporated into how it's gonna work in the future. Um Paul's Happy Bird. Excellent. I have the highest score in the world. James. As of this moment. <laughs> unrecorded, unfortunately. <laughs> well, recorded, just not in the. Uh, just not officially on the page. recorded. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a good cheat. Uh, very cute. Very cute yeah. Uh, yeah. I have the world record. No. I, I did my best on that to do a speed run. Uh, yeah. I think I did pretty good because that last one, none of them fell to the side. I didn't get hit, mm -hmm. I didn't get sent back home. Um, probably somebody could beat it by just a little bit, but I did pretty good there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we did a full round of Kovi Kovi two player. That was so which I fun. don't think we had done before. No, I don't think we so have. So that was a lot of fun. Next time we're going to put on a much harder mode yeah. when with a two player, because so that they're fa falling faster or it's built up a bit more. Um, so let's take a look at. Uh, what's coming up on the show? We have some very exciting things that aren't even on the schedule yet. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um, so the next show... Ooh, I better get that put together. <laughs> <laughs> the ja Jaguar? Jaguar Rotary Controller Special ooh. Part 1. Part 1? Uh, yeah, I do have to put that together. Maybe tonight. It doesn't look that hard. Okay. I'll take the stuff upstairs and, and just... Watch TV and put that together. 
Mm. Um, so we're going to play a bunch of rotary controller Jaguar games. That's cool. Which is really, really cool. Um, there's at least eight there. I'm going to probably split them up into two different days. So that's, that's why I say part one. But those are all of the con rotary controller games that I know of mm. right now. Um, then we're going to be playing some Lynx games. And I think that's pretty for sure. Uh, let me see what the latest information is on that. <laughs> May have to push it. Oh, if it comes early, then You're it's okay. fine. Good luck with it that. It may come on the 23rd to play it. <sighs> That's on the day. <laughs> so we'll I'll see. have to have something in reserve to yeah, switch it I out. Yeah, I think so. Uh, 26th, uh, where we have the exclusive world premiere of Ooh, Space, Space Taxi. Taxi. Tanya will not be here for that. Uh, that is nope. Erlen's Day. Yes. Well, it's not Erlen's Day, but Erlen's going to be here. Yes. Uh, yes. Check out the time. It's at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Mm. We had to move the, the time, but I'll keep reminding you of that. Mm. Uh, we have the exclusive world premiere of... Old Style's new game. I'm going to be starting to put out hints starting on May 23rd. Mm. So get your thinking caps on about what game this could be. It's for the Atari 7800. I, it's possible somebody will guess it with the first hint. Somebody will definitely get it with the second hint. It's very going to be very blatant. Mm. And then I will announce it. And we're going to announce it before the show what it is. Cool. But we're going to make a little game out of it. Let's see if you can guess what it is. It's something everyone will like. Well, at least I'll love it. Yeah. Hopefully everyone will love it. Um, then the next, uh, probably the next show after that, Karamuho, which is the, oh, sorry, Snail, <laughs> the Snail Game. Uh, Yay, snails. It's the slowest moving video game character of all time, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to play it. Um, so we have the exclusive world premiere of Karim Yoho. Um, it's looking really bit good. I've been doing uh, beta testing of it. Uh, somewhere in between that, we're going to be doing uh, round three of the Atari Homebrew High Score Contest Excellent. with Invader and Load Runner. I nice. think we got to get on that pretty soon. Mm -hmm. That might run out. James will love it. Shooter, platformer, Rolling Thunder. <laughs> it does give you a little bit of, of a hint. I do yeah. like shooters and I do like platformers. I do like both of those genres. You're pretty good at Flappy Bird, I too. do like running guns, too. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, which is pretty much what Cuphead is. In between it, the boss It's like levels, running right? guns, and usually in running guns, they have bosses at the end. Yeah. So this is kind of separate. You have a running gun and, the, and a boss. These are the boss at the end of running guns, too. Um... Uh, and some other things that are just kind of hanging around here. But those are the big things. Uh, thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us today. It was a lot of fun playing yes. some 2600 what, games. Did you have fun? Climatizing the cats oh, again. He's still, he's still looking. They're still scared, scared of They each still other look and keep an eye out for each other. Because yeah. they're like, mm, they're that, still cat, on edge. that cat attacked me. They think they attacked each yeah. other. Oh, Neither of them guys. attacked each other. No. Actually, I forgot to mention what I think started it when. Was it, him. Was him. Because I, I briefly mentioned it. We put our. We put the cat water bowl. We did. In, into the um, shower. And he loves to get it in the shower. And play with the water. And just splash it everywhere. Like, everywhere. Yeah. And after the incident, Atari was really wet. Yeah, he was. So we thought maybe Sprite and Atari were in the shower. Sprite started splashing the water around. And then Atari just Atari kind of freaked out. Freaked out, accidentally hit the door, which closed it. On his, and he, he tried his, to get out and got his foot caught on the way out. Yeah. yeah. That's Aww. the most likely explanation. Yeah. Why else would they freak out? Yeah. Other than a big splash of water, which definitely would freak Atari out. Yeah. And yeah. he splashes. And they're both wild cats. They were both, you know, <laughs> yeah. well, not this one so much, but um, um, Atari was, uh, you know, SPCA uh, found in a, in a field <laughs> yeah. kitten, so... He's yeah. got some wild instincts in him, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Tempest 2000 will be a two-part show all on its own. Oh, really? What is nice. Devil Dice? <laughs> what is that? If you had a toilet can, well, yeah. that probably won't mm. go down too well. <laughs> it would have been the most chaotic video you've ever oh, seen. God. From when the cats 
started doing whatever they're doing to me coming down. Yeah. Cat's biting my toe. Tanya jumping on the toilet <laughs> seat. Opening, opening the, door. the door. Cat's running out. Blood everywhere. It would have been an amazing video. It would have gone viral around the world. <laughs> guaranteed. But then people would have gone, why do you have a video camera in your toilet? Yeah, there you go. In your bathroom. That's... Yeah, that would be uh, a little bit uh, concerning. Devil Dice is a great puzzle game for the PS1. Uh, uh, I'm going to look that up right now. Devil Dice. Because mm. I'll forget immediately. I do have something that plays PS1 games. Mm. I have a PS3. Puzzle video game. Devil Dice, PlayStation. Oh, oh! you jump on dice and they s turn around. Let's take a look at a video of it. <clears throat> PS1 game. Mm. Mute it. Mute it immediately. Oh, it's already muted. Good. Uh, YouTube. There we go. Skip into it. Yep, 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 yep. Multiplayer. Oh, you're turning the dice as you roll on them. Oh, cool. You can spin the board. Oh, okay. But it is multiplayer. You have to fill in spots like a with pattern? certain dice. Mm. Oh, nice. That's, that's... Word puzzles, too. Oh, and you do matching games. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to that two-player part here. So they've got four slots open. Rolly, 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 rolly. Two fours. Ooh, five. Oh, five in a row. Five I get it. So you're trying to get. Um, oh, and they get that. sequences. So you have to get four fours. I'm guessing. Yeah. So you can either roll it or two slide twos. it. It looks like. There we go. Neat. I like so that. So you really want to go for two twos, three threes, four fours are the easiest. Six sixes are the hardest, and ones don't count, obviously. Cute. That is a great idea for a game. It's all the in the th thinking in the three dimensions of the dice. Oh, yeah, that is a good game. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Um, you roll the dice over as you walk on them, and you have to get X of X in a row to get them. Yeah, you got it, he said. Yeah. <laughs> so he was typing it out as I... Like, yeah. Did you say a toilet cam wouldn't go down well? Uh, oof. oof. <laughs> terrible. Yep. Terrible, terrible. So thanks, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for... On that note... Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back on Friday with Tanya again um, because of weird schedules. Mm. Uh, it'll be a late show. Is it? Is it? Is it late Friday? show on Friday? I thought it isn't. It's not Darcy. Uh, is it airline, but he can't come? It is. A late show. Darcy. I don't know. I'm very confused now. No, because Darcy was supposed to come last week, but he couldn't. Oh. Oh, no. Darcy was last week. Darcy is supposed to come this week. I'm confused. I'm confused too. We're all messed up. We'll have to. We'll figure it out. I'll have to ask. Bert. I'll have to ask Darcy. Actually, yeah. It's like what is usual? I have to look back in the is. log because I changed a bunch of them because Darcy said he couldn't come on a certain day. Yeah. Then I moved Erlen to the twenty sixth. Then I moved Tanya that, to the the twenty sixth was supposed to be Darcy. Yes. And you switch with Erlen, so it's Erlen oh. this week. Right. Because and Erlen next week, but I think maybe he can't do both. He can't do both. Okay. So that's why you're tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So Not tomorrow, sense. Friday, but yes. Friday, next show. We're all good. Uh, it's all settled. <laughs> thank, yeah. Thanks for watching Nostalgic, yes. Prow, 7, Vitoko, Metalunar, RC7E, VVG, Double Down, Trey Guy, Chalcedony Mao, Rendered Ghost. Still have a bit of a cold, you can tell. Mm. Uh, Vitoko, BR Pocock, um... Gamma Dev, Dieter, thank you for making that awesome game. Mm -hmm. It was super fun doing the speed run. Uh, text Rich, saw that he typed for the first time today. Yes. Welcome to the chat. Yes. Um, do, 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 do. I know there's other names. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D, uh, S. Ramirez, Carl G. Uh, and yeah, like you're kind of at the and top I know now. No, Miss Command was there at the beginning. I of saw Miss Command, and then yeah. there was something breadboard or something like oh, that. Oh yes, that's right. Who, uh, I don't think they chatted. Followed? They followed. No, they chatted. Oh, they chatted. Breadboard Studios. Yeah, okay. there you go. Great. Um, Excellent. And so we're done again. Yes. Uh, knowing the fact adds an interest mechanic to the game because if you can see a one. You know, a six, six is the is, opposite that's side. That's correct, yes. Oh, it's always, it always adds up to seven. Yes, People who always. don't know that. Yeah. Three and four, 
one and six, five and two. Yeah. So that would really help help the game. You yep. just flip twice and you're on the opposite. Uh, maybe I'll get those t-shirts done. Maybe not. Yeah, I do have to work on the fine. Jaguar controller first. So I'm going to do that right now before right I now. forget. <laughs> no, yeah, bring it upstairs. Okay, have a good night, everyone. And we'll see you on Friday for some more homebrew gaming. Yay! Bye, everyone. Bye, have bye a good bye. night.